satisfied with the lunch that they serve? No, they have a great lunch. Okay, so you're on. Hello, this is CNN. Now reporting. Today's weather. Today we have clear skies, 74 degrees high. No humidity. It's going to be a great day out in Hallis Hall today. Um, we will start by beginning with interviews. Guys, let's go. <laughs> was what? Yeah, your whole about practicing that or that's my intro. Anchorman or mm-hmm. when I get done playing ball, I'm gonna um, be a, a for, uh, Fox Sports weatherman. Fox Sports, Sports weatherman. <laughs> so a new position that hasn't been invented yet. It's, is it impossible to have? Will it be sports related weather or just sports related I'm weather? Already talking about the weather. Field, field conditions. Yeah, you'd be very busy here. I love Soldier Field. Y'all not asking no questions. Do you need to play in the regular during a preseason game? Mm hmm. Ready to go? Mm hmm. I think so. I think I need to play whenever I need to play. Whenever the coaches tell me to play, I'm playing. What did that do for you to just get live action in a preseason? Um. I mean, just getting hit and just kind of like getting tackled, actually getting tackled and, you know, seeing different looks, kind of getting the pace of the game. Um, it's completely different from practice. So um, just being able to get a lot of looks and get hit is really the main thing for me. You go up to that and say, hey, man, I, I want to play in this preseason game? Uh, of course. I want to play whenever I get a chance to because um, I'm always – I always want to kind of showcase my capabilities and what I'm able to do. Have they told you guys anything for the third <laughs> – Preseason game in terms of playing time? No, they have not. What have you seen of Justin throughout the course of training camp? And kind of where is he from now compared to a year ago as a rookie and finding his way in the, on the on the depth chart? Uh, Justin finding his way on the depth chart? Well, no, I mean, like last year when he was trying to prove himself and show a readiness to the coaching staff versus now where he's the starter. What, what kind of differences do you see in him? Oh uh, yeah, he just just is Justin, of course, but um. He was kind of like a rookie. Like, you could see, like, his capabilities as a rookie, but now, like, you can kind of see him in the actual, you know, fluid motion of him um, evolving to what he's he can be, which is very exciting to see. Um, and him being a leader at the same time is definitely super cool to see. You know, to me being a fourth-year vet and uh, seeing somebody go from a rookie to where they is now to being a leader, which is Justin, is pretty impressive to see, and I'm happy to be a part of it. Roquan Smith uh, feel, feels like he busted his ass and proved himself and wanted to get paid and didn't. For someone who could be in that in a similar situation, what impact did that episode have on you? Um, I just come here to play football. That has um, nothing to do with me. I'm sure uh, everyone else is handling it, who has to handle it. But um, I'm just worried about football, and I'm ready to play. Herbert all good? He's, we saw him get carted off yesterday, then he was back out there today. Oh, I ain't seen him get carted off. Oh, no? Nah. Nope. What have been your early impressions of Tevin Jenkins at right guard? Um, Tevin's, he's pretty, I, I love Tev. He's he's nasty. Um, uh, He got controlled chaos. You can kind of see it when he plans, so it's definitely um a really good thing to see, especially from the guys up front that's going to help you uh, run the ball, so. I'm super excited for Tim, too, to kind of prove everybody wrong. That's also described as a mean and motor guy. Do you think that nastiness is kind of infectious when he gets in there? Uh, Yeah, I would hope so. Um, once we you know, start flying around and bullets really start flying and it gets really live action, um, I know that he'll transition from using it here to using it on a game field. So um, it has to be uh, infectious. You know, I'm going to bring it every chance I get. So I try to be infectious. It's going to be super good to know that somebody else is going to have it, too. Kevin Jenkins is controlled chaos. So yeah. What, what does that mean? How, how do you describe that? Um. So when he's off the field, he's super nice. Like super nice. His glasses are never uh, foggy. Um. He talks with um, proper pronouns. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he's just a super intelligent guy. But when he's on the field, it kind of like he's still super intelligent. But he's kind of like, yeah. And I like that. Yeah, is he too nice? Is he too nice off the field? Does it make you suspicious? I don't think you can ever be too nice, but you can definitely tell like it's a it's a screw loose when you can kind of be super nice to being not super nice.
We get the nasty on the field. The chaos is like the. the That's what you want. Yeah. yeah. What do you think of how he's handled changing positions and everything? Like it's been a whirlwind first year. For yeah, him. he's handled like a pro. Um, he doesn't complain. He comes in. He goes to work every day. Um, I never heard him say anything negative in any any way necessary. But um, you know, every time I talk to Tim, it's always I'm trying to get better, trying to you know improve myself so that I can be the best version of myself. And that's super refreshing to see from somebody who kind of handled the level of adversity that he did handle in his first year. When you're, when you're running behind the offensive line, do you have to, when you change guys, when different guys come into different positions, do you have to have a feel for how different guys play each spot as you're running behind them, or is that not a factor? No, nah, not really. Um, cause when I'm running the ball, I pay attention to my alignment, but not as much. Um, but the standard that we hold for our offense and our team is, um, you know, if anything was to happen, there should be no drop off from anybody to the next man to the next man. There should not be no drop off, and I firmly believe that. So, whoever up next, um, I, I view them the same way of having the same standard. And it's the same with every position that's um, on the team. Um, and Coach Flus is, is big on that as well. So uh, everybody got to be ready. Um, every next man has got to be able to perform at a high level. And, you know, that's just how it is. It's part of being a professional. What is Luke Getz he like when he gets in front of a room? Uh, he makes you want to run through a wall for him, really. You know, he definitely bring the juice. He bring a lot of juice. So uh, if you ain't bringing it, he going to let you know. But... You ain't never got to worry about guests not coming in with fire. How does, how does he let you know? How does he let guys know when they're not bringing it? Is he a screamer? Is he a... Is he I don't know. I can't tell you, <laughs> but he get you going. Going back to the time run thing that you were talking about, for you personally, um, is it something that you use as a motivator, or are you just thinking, you know, I'll worry about that when it comes? Yeah, hey, I mean, it's going to take care of itself. I ain't really worried about that. Like, I got bigger fish to fry. Um, you know what I'm saying? I got a game on coming up this week. I'm worried about that. I'm not worried about no contract or none of, none of that because, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm still just trying to play ball. I'm trying to play football and have fun doing that. You know, everything else to take care of, so I ain't got no worries in the world. Yeah, can you tell at this point if the running game will be any different this year compared to last year, not only in production but just the way it's used and – just in general, the general effectiveness. Can you tell at this point? Um, we're going to run the ball, and we're going to pass the ball. Yeah, that's probably all I can really say. He's just going to play football, really. Run and pass. Yeah, yeah, pass. Yeah. <laughs> One of the two, yeah, yeah. I saw a couple of screens the other day, one to a tight end and one to a receiver. What can a good screen game do for you guys? Get us yards. Pardon? Get us yards. A lot. Yeah. Does it, what does it do to a pass rush? Does it make them think twice? I don't know. I play offense. One more good question. <laughs> you know, Tr Tristan's come in. He's shown some flashes, some ability of what he can do with the ball in his hands. Going back to your rookie year, can you talk about the development in terms of being a, a, a blocker and pass pro, right? He, he told me that that's kind of the next hurdle for him. The next thing he needs to get better at is, is in pass pro. What's that like coming to the NFL and developing in that area of your game? Yeah, um, it takes a lot of confidence to be able to kind of come in and Pass protection is a lot about confidence. You got to be confident in doing it, confident in what you see and trust what you see. Um, Tristan is doing a phenomenal job um, with pass protection and, and every other facet of the game as well. Um, he's going to be electric. Like, I'm really excited to see like what he's going to do and help this offense as well. Um, but me coming in as a rookie, I kind of just one took it one day at a time. Um, understood that it was going to take one day at a time. And then every opportunity that I had when it came to pass protection, I was always sure to ask questions and try to do everything much more because I, I take pride in protecting my quarterback. Like, I don't want Justin to get hit. I don't – just it's, it, he don't need it. Like, he don't deserve the amount of preparation that Justin goes for. The lead, less, last thing that he needs to worry about is getting hit by anybody. So, um, like I said, Tres is doing a phenomenal job. He, he going to – yeah, it's going to be cool to see. 
blitz pickup so much more difficult to prepare for when you're in the NFL versus when you're doing it in college? Um, because it's, it's a whole lot more terminology in the NFL. It's a lot more honus on what the running back has to do in protection. Um, you got to understand defenses, um, coverages, fronts, um, all a, a bunch of things that kind of give tails to help me out in pass protection. Um, but it's it's a lot more difficult in the NFL. But once you understand like defense, like I said, and coverages and formations and everything more, you kind of understand and kind of can anticipate what's going to come when it comes. Thanks, guys.